The honeymoon on a yacht in the Mediterranean was a disaster. Diana had bulimia and would eat excessively before vomiting. She was aware of Camilla's presence everywhere, including a diary of Prince Charles's official events which included photos of Camilla. Diana found intimate letters from Camilla to Charles shortly after the wedding, and referred to her as Rottweiler. Camilla called Diana a ridiculous creature. Charles and Diana had trouble finding common ground due to their differences. And Diana's pathological suspicion. She suffered from depression and sought help from psychiatrists but to no avail. Diana blamed Charles for all her misfortunes. When Prince William was born, Diana would not let Charles spend time with him. Charles had to give up many of his pleasures but he couldn't give up his daily interaction with Camilla. According to those who knew the royal family, Diana was not the fairy tale princess she appeared to be in public. Behind palace walls, her unpredictable mood made Charles's life a living hell. Rumors circulated that she had attempted suicide during her third month of pregnancy by throwing herself down the stairs. Diana's behavior escalated, and she would call people a hundred times a day, including Camilla, but remained silent on the phone. Despite their difficulties, Charles and Diana remained married for 15 years. However, their relationship was strained and ultimately ended in a publicized divorce. The tragic death of Princess Diana in 1997 shocked the world and left many wondering what could have been if things had been different.